back in session at 726 as an executive session. There's nothing to report on in executive session except for the fact that we're continuing our efforts to uh to lure a uh, healthcare provider to the city to the town of Luna Vista and we're going to diligently continue that focus and hope somebody comes. All right so we've gone over some of it with the, the grants but I will just um uh, go over it again. ARPA, we just went through all the projects that are on that resolution. So if anyone has any questions, you can ask, but there's really no update on, on ARPA other than the funds that we just have spent. They, we have to obligate all the funds by December of 2024. So we are in really good shape because um, it just has to be um, uh, obligated by that time. So we're in good shape. The 2019 floods and uh, the uh, tropical storm of Elda, that's the GLO grant that you guys just approved all the documents for. Um, Texas Park and Wildlife, that's the roll-off park grant that we submitted for in July. We received the um, documentation from the Texas Historical Division, and that needed to be supplemented to our um, application that just says there's nothing historical that we're going to be digging up, nothing, you know, there's no archaeological grave sites, anything like that. So we're good to go. So that's um, the last box that that means. So we should be hearing from them anytime. Um, early January-ish, and then once we hear from them, we'll start the next process to go get the uh, the next grant for that. So that's the steps for kind of hurry up and wait on that one. Um, the town photography for the website, actually that link came in today with any of the city council members that got their pictures. Um, so I will send that out and everyone can do that. The website is being um, made behind the scenes as of right now. I saw a couple of Real, real early in drafts, nothing that even is worth um, re showing yet, but um, that will be um, that's an ongoing. And like that was hopefully to have a new, brand new face. We'll launch in December, it will look completely different. It's not going to have that cartoon look. All the links will work. Um, our score with Google, uh, you know, how I have that mapping score on how good your website is, we'll um, have a ratings and, and on that. So, um, hopefully, that by the December, we will have a much better functioning website. So, and what. And one, one versus two. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you know what? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Um, so to help um, do, I, I call it the town marketing. I'm not really sure it's the right word, but just um, one of my next goals for the next year is to just try to continue to update our community about all of the things that we do. Not everybody gets to come to the meetings. And so um, we get a lot of good updates here, but unfortunately it doesn't get um, always out to the community. So I've started doing um, the uh, did you know kind of uh, emails that go out on Friday. So these are going to have different things that we do. Um, Anything that can be arranged from, you know, like I did the one out about the grants, obviously that would be a good one. When it comes to nature, what would be good to plant this time of year, if it's something that happens with the police, just any anything that we feel is important for the community to know. On the bottom of everything I put out for the did you know, it's going to have the reminder for when the next town council meeting is, so people are aware of when the meetings are, if they would like to come. And um, so anything like that, um, if there's financial updates that, you know, we think we want to we won this grant or we were awarded this grant. The topics, we can do whatever we want. So I have a list of things kind of that I thought of throughout the weeks um, that are scheduled to go out every Friday. And um, so this is just to help kind of show what you guys are doing and improving every every month so the citizens can be aware. And um, we, we're going to improve our communication with yes. our city. We are. Great initiative. Thank Great. you. Yes. 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 And do. That is what we're doing. And um, the much requested newsletter is um, yeah. ready to go out. <laughs> um, it is. It is a. It's been um. It is going to be a very. What I wanted it to be was a substantive newsletter, so that way when somebody reads it, they really know what's going on with the town. Our events are important. Our little events at the library are important. But what I wanted them to know is, you know, what is their tax dollars getting? What is each department doing every month? And so then hopefully the, we didn't know, or we had no idea that that will minimize. And then that way they can come and ask questions or maybe it's, they didn't know. And, and they really are hopefully wowed by what you guys are doing with, with all of their tax dollars. So that is hoping to go out by the 20th of every month. And it'll have all of the um, department's reports from the, from the previous month. 
libraries will have you know kind of the promotion for the next month of their their activities or anything we're doing um unlike that so uh hopefully that will help also improve the communication and um any questions or anything like that the citizens have hopefully they can find it there um in the newsletter so that's uh, that's the goal for that i did um reply to that email that you sent about the newsletter because my aunt lives in Selma and they, okay. she always gets a newsletter there and I was like oh wow that's great that we're starting that because we've in the moons that I've lived here we've never had a newsletter ever for the town I think that's important and I think that's a great initiative thank you so much we're welcome. and um so we've also started attending the the market days uh, at the golf course. So we just set up a booth. We're there with our t-shirts and um, some of the cookies and just there for anybody that, um, you know, to find the city manager. You know, there's a lot of times we go, oh, we should ask the city. And you never do, right? You never pick up that phone call. So, you know, I'm standing there. They can go, oh, since you're there. And so hopefully, you know, just having that access to us uh, once or twice a month when we do the market days, we have little magnets that have our um contact information on it so that we just give out you know just trying to kind of be accessible to anybody that's walking around and just um you know anything that they might have to ask so um that's also trying to help make be out there so people were available more than just our one meeting a month and um the last thing is the library classes we've done pretty good the last year with um having the, the kid events and kind of updating that route. So uh, Lego night is one of by far the most popular um, classes that we have. So we're gonna try to do a few things over the next year to kind of capitalize on that interest. It seems to be popular. Um, but then we're also going to try to elevate what's going on at the library to um, do more adult driven classes. Um, we're having a nutrition class come on uh, November 29th will be our first one. And it's going to be geared towards, you know, nutrition choices and things like that for, for adults. There's a lot of different options um, that this can go. Cooking classes we have had, um, our very own Chef Tolan has said that, you know, she would host um, some cooking classes about, um, and and so there might be some investments from the friends of the library into some of these programs that the library can host because, you know, while the books and sitting down and renting a book is going down, but the need for information and a place to meet is still very much there. So um, hopefully the structure and layout of the library will change soon. Mm -hmm. So we have places to sit and, you know, read your newspaper or read your book. Um, obviously our online catalog is growing with um, with every grant that Huda gets. So those are improvements we're going to try to make. And then over this next year, we're going to try to get the renderings of potential um, structural changes inside and maybe adding patio areas outside so we can look for grants with with that. And we're working with Ms. Patty Alexander who did the um, Texas Park of Wildlife grant. She's got a lot of options for those. So a lot of hopefully movement in the library, but um, at least right now focusing on just ways to get more people to come through, through the doors. So um, uh, I know when, when, when the library had the um, the authors come speak. Mm -hmm. I think that was really popular too. The series, the mm -hmm. book series, and stuff. Yeah, I think I think um, I think those were harder to get after COVID. I don't know. If, uh, I know Food had tried to get a couple of them, and I just don't know if they're not doing. I mean, it's over. I don't know why we're not doing speaking engagements like the authors, but um, I know she's trying. Right. So, um, but but uh, we can start to definitely. But I think that's them. And then obviously, the more advertising that goes out about it, hopefully, the more people will will come to it. So, and just I think even if we just rearrange furniture in there and just kind of give it a fresh look, even if we don't, you know, mm -hmm. you rearrange your living room, it looks like you know, it's just kind of one of those concepts. So, just going to try to do some some little things until we can raise some money or find some grants to do some of the bigger the bigger projects. So, um, uh, moving on to the elections, just as an FYI, we had the elections on November seventh. City Hall was on an early voting center this year. That's not by our choice, whoever has the elections or has something on the ballots, they choose, They can choose. The county decides where they're going to be and then you can choose to have it in a place extra if you would so desire. So it was not chosen here to be an election place for early voting, but we were an actual same day voting place. And on voting day, we had 477 voters come through City Hall store on voting day. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was busy, I was busy all day. Um. I 
Stripes, um, oh, this is just a FYI, uh, Stripes, I think probably everyone's noticed that they are, I've had calls about that they're serving the margaritas and how is that happening? Um, they're just advertising for the margaritas right now. They haven't actually started serving the open container margaritas. They're going to have to, they're working with us to do the, they need a different alcohol license um, to, to do that. So we're going to have to go through the processes. Um, but it'll be like a smoothing, I guess, machine with a wine-based margaritas. So um, wow. I'll have a taco and a margarita. Yeah. Yeah. The difference is between the well, the, the difference is between a permit that you need to sell beer that can't be consumed on the premises right. versus oh, or, well, versus something that you can consume on the premises. Oh, beer, beer, or as long as it's, well, beer and wine. And and they did say that the, the margaritas are going to be wine based. Right. I don't know if you're that. Alcohol, because it's just yeah. the beer and wine. So, yeah, they, they can't serve like on, they, they need yeah. another yeah. level yeah. to serve yeah. hard. Like, oh, liquor. Well, they do have the little. They sell liquor in there. Oh, but well, they sell them all. Oh, okay. So just just in case you guys get asked about that, it's in the process. They wow. they shouldn't be serving it now. I don't think they they are. Um, but Doobie's checking every day for margarita. I don't know why she's going on for margarita today, but she's just. Going to get a nice Right, right. I hope they have. I'm sure they have some type of protection on that. Well, in addition to the, the TABC authorization that they need, they'll need a CUP from us. Oh, okay. All right. So you, it will come to, to you guys eventually. It's just in, in the process. So I just wanted to um, <laughs> not you update. Are there other stripes that do this? It's, the, it's, it's being advertised yes. in Los Fresnos. Mm -hmm. Los Fresnos? Uh, Los Fresnos? But all the stripes that we've seen, even we're in West Texas, they, they all have this. Really? It's a new, uh, new issue. I think the earliest article I saw on it was 2020, the right where they were yeah. the new thing they're trying to do. Taco Tuesday just got a lot better. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. New, new corporate initiative. Okay. Um, so the upcoming events, it it was we are estimating there was about 500 people in the, the fall festival, so it was a really huge success. And it's really good considering that both Las Fresnos and Port Isabel had home football games that night. So that that was yeah. a really huge success considering what we were um, up against. So I appreciate everyone's support. It was uh, we it was had fun. we had yeah we had a lot of positive feedback. So let's go Tarpons on Friday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, we're uh, you guys. We are hosting the um, uh, the holiday appreciation dinner for our volunteer firefighters, and um, on Thursday, so with the city buying them dinner, we'll give them their um, uh, checks from the prior year, and just uh, obviously relaying everyone's thanks for everything that they do, and um, so that will be on Thursday. And um, our Christmas event is up on December eighth. So uh, I think you guys could, might recall, we got together with all the other cities and we staggered our Christmas events. So we're not having a tree lighting this year because I don't want to wait till December 8th to turn on all of our lights. So um, we're having our Christmas event because the parade for uh, the island and um, uh, Port Isabel is on the first and the second. So awesome. that'll happen. But the cool part is, is I've already had confirmation with the help of Ms. Howard, I was able to get a hold of um, the Port Isabel cheer and dance teams will come and do a little performance at um, our Christmas event, along with the junior high cheer. Um, and I think Laguna Madre Christian Academy um, may come and sing some Christmas songs. What so, about the ma uh, mariachis? We get the mariachis. Yeah, the mariachis band Mr. Here. Salas. They're all, yeah, you can tell us bands are all okay. amazing. No, they're okay. always good. If, yeah. if you want to, either talk to him or if you want to see his contact information. I can send, I, yeah. Um, I can write it down. And uh, so... I just think it's great to have all of our kids. They 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 prepare all these little Christmas, you know, um, events and numbers. So I think it would be fun to be able to really support them and let them come, um, let us be what they can do. So um, so they'll be here along with our big huge slide that we had last year and um, the snow and oh all yeah, stuff. That yes, was fun. yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we're keeping winter 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 wonderland in South Texas. Um, and then. Coming up in January will be the the seventh annual Do It By The Bay, but nice. Um, that one you guys approved last month. And 
other than that, unless you, I mean, the, the specific. Happy birthday. I just Carla. basically, uh, and our Carla's birthday's tomorrow. Happy so birthday. birthday. Carla. 2121. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, if you not seen the EMS um, truck, is now stickered up. Yeah. I, um, take a look at it. It looks great. Finish up yeah. today. I'll, I'll send out pictures. It, it just, they, they put that last bottom stripe on today. So, so that looks. That looks really good, and I'll put a picture of it in the newsletter so people can uh, see what's what's coming. And um, we've had really good feedback from the EMS department. Um, people are stopping us to tell us that they're appreciative of it. Stopping in the fire department just to you know they know they're there now, so they've had people come and just stop in the fire department and you know not feeling well or you know can you check me out? And uh, so it's it's really it's been a really positive. Um, Thing for many people in our community. So, um, and we'll have more on that next month after we have a whole month of, of real data to, to report for you guys. So, thank you. <clears throat> I just want to thank the police department, the EMS. You guys are doing an amazing job. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Please let everybody know. Oh, and I, I didn't say we did have our Veterans Day ceremony, and that was um that was really beautiful. We ended up moving it to the basketball court, and um it just it just turned out really good under there. It was really quaint, and the sound sounded really good because of the cover of the basketball, and it just we kind of looked. It's just amazing. It was. Yeah, yeah. Well, you I was, I was gonna say that, but I, I knew you were humble, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to. <laughs> we uh, it was a perfect solution to get better. It was, and it, it turned out really, and we got a. Um, of course, everyone's always appreciative of, of that event in general, but it was just, it just turned out really, really nice. And it's such an honor to get to honor our vets. And and stuff. We so. had Norman Esquivel's um, niece there mm -hmm. who sang the national anthem. Awesome. And um, twice. Twice, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we've all heard her sing throughout the years. And, yeah. uh, and to see her now that she's older, wow. Yeah, she's she amazing. She just belted it out. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was. So um so that that was that so that was the I, I didn't put that on here for some reason. So very good. I'm sorry, unless anyone has any other questions. Questions, remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And happy birthday again. Thank you. <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving, so everybody. Yes, everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Move to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I second. Motion by Commissioner Councilmember Bryant, seconded by Councilmember Gonzalez to adjourn. Councilmember Romero? Yes. Councilmember Howard? Yes. Councilmember Gonzalez? Yes. Councilmember Bryant? Yes. Mayor Carter? Yes. Adjourn at 744. Thank you for coming.